Volume 2 of Star Wars Visions premieres tomorrow on Disney+, Plus, and similar to Volume 1, which premiered about a couple of years ago, this one collects 9 shorts that have been coming from all different parts of the world in order to create something that is truly special, and contains 9 different stories that work within the toy chest that is the Star Wars series, and creates some creative stuff out of them. In this case, you get 9 different shorts that have come from different animated studios that are based in different parts of the world, some new ones included in this one and they all tell different stories that are tonally a little bit different from maybe things that you saw in the first volume there's definitely some interesting stuff going on here but i wanted to talk about it because i love talking about volume one i thought the collection of shorts that was in that first bit was really really cool and there was some storytelling that was on display over there that was among some of the most unique things that star wars had pulled in recent memory Naturally, I was very excited to see Volume 2 because to see more of that originality come to life and to be able to do some stuff with what has been, you know, created in the world of Star Wars and the different worlds of Star Wars, I think it's a fascinating precedent. But they are different from the stuff that you're watching right now in terms of like a canonical perspective. Like, it's not like it's connected to things like The Mandalorian is or something like that. There are stories that are very much in their own spaces and they build on things that may have been established before but don't necessarily connect. Although this season has maybe one or two more things that you'll hear at one point in a short and go, that's that thing, it's from, it's okay, all right. So there's a couple of connections there. But overall, what did I think of these shorts? Well, listen, I loved volume one. I think volume two is even better. I think they actually improved on things. I think the uh, shorts that you get in here are downright remarkable. It dials things up a notch considerably. And if nothing else, just take this as an example of how far the medium can come in such a short amount of time. Because it really hasn't even been a couple of years. It's been a little less than that when it comes to Volume 2. Things have come together very quickly. But make no mistake, the quality is immensely higher than it was in season one which is saying something and the nine shorts that are presented here from the first one which is called sit to the last one ao song all of them are fantastic i want to talk about that first one though because sit is phenomenal they have used this as sort of the poster child for all the marketing which you may have seen the advertising of this thing there's a reason they're putting this one up as number one it's not just because of the episode placement it's because this short is outstanding like this is one of the best ones to come out of the new batch i would say it's probably my favorite one although there are a few that really really did stick out and since that did come up as a question in like the social media reaction as to like which were the best ones i'll list them out to you right now so i already mentioned sit i really love that one the next one i really really loved was in the stars this was by punk robot i thought el guiri did a great job on sit i should have mentioned their production company uh punk robot did a great job with in the stars i think it's fantastic it's beautifully realized and some of the sequences that you get in here like especially towards the ending which involves these two sisters infiltrating a, an imperial base i'm sorry just opening up the screen here because I wanted to check something. Um, all of those things, fantastically done, and it leads to a really tremendous episode. The Ardman animated episode, I Am Your Mother, which also premiered at the Star Wars Celebration, I thought was wonderfully done. Very heartfelt, very wonderfully told storytelling. Beautifully animated as well. And it's just a lot of fun. And, and honestly, it comes together again in a very wondrous way and and i and i really really loved it i thought it was genuinely like one of the best ones i do think that it's you know uh there's a few others which are better than that but i think it's just i think as someone who's just watching them i just loved everything that i was watching journey to the dark head which is done by studio mirror is maybe my second favorite one this is an anime style what is anime it's anime uh, uh, the episode which is similar to the twins episode in volume one i loved the twins episode so naturally i was very excited for this one and this one surpasses that, I think. I think some of the visuals in here, particularly in the latter half of the short, are mesmerizing. 
This is one of the best that comes out of the entire roster. I loved every second of it. Genuinely one of the best things. And then our next one that I really, really loved and I thought was one of the best ones was from 88 Studios in India. They made one called The Bandits of Golak. This was fantastic. I, I mean, so much fun. And very interesting in terms of the external mythos that is introduced with Star Wars. Like there are aspects over here that obviously, you know, you're gonna get a lot of Indian elements in here, but they were really cool. I thought it was great. My hair, however, keeps falling in front. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Overall, I think all of the shorts are great. I'm just listing out my favorites to you. If I was to rank them, I would say of those which I've listed out, I would say Sith is probably my favorite one, then Journey to the Dark Head, then In the Stars, then The Bandits of Golak, and then um, the Ardman one, I Am Your Mother. I would say those are the top five. But make no mistake, Screechers Reach, The Spy Dancer, The Pit, Ao Song, those are not necessarily any lower. They are all top-notch quality. The work that's on display over here, beautifully done. The music that each of these shorts has, Fantastic. I'm just happy that one more of these volumes exists. I hope they keep doing more of these because it's nice to have these bursts of creativity come through. I hope we get to see them on a larger scale going forward. And I think we need to celebrate more of this. And so I'm hoping that this is not the end when it comes to visions. I hope they do a volume three, a four, a five. Get more animation studios involved. It, it can lead to some genuinely magical things. And animation as a as a filmmaking, you know, uh, tool as as a form of cinema, I think it, it is realized so well when it comes to projects like this. And so I'm glad that Visions exists. And it's now two for two. That's two outstanding seasons in the book. I'm gonna give Star Wars Visions Volume 2 an A. Fantastic season of television. Definitely check it out. Watch all nine episodes. Let me know what you guys' rankings are individually. They're not that long. It's like 15 minutes to 16 minutes. I think the longest one's like 18 minutes and that's the dark head one. Beyond that, I mean, just go ahead, check it out. You're gonna have a great time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe and may the force be with you.